you know, we're living in a time when our Muslim brothers and sisters have been made to feel very different, made to feel a shadow over their very names and identities. And you know, it's striking. We had 13 presidents. Uh, I'm sorry, we've had 13, no, we've now had 14 presidents, I guess. Three of whom have been Muslims. We've had innumerable governors, cabinet ministers, chief ministers of states, ambassadors, generals, Supreme Court justices and chief justices from that community. During the war with Pakistan in 1971, the Indian Air Force in the northern sector was commanded by a Muslim, Air Marshal, later Air Chief Marshal Latif. And that's something that our country, the Parambir Chakra, was won in 1965 by a Muslim soldier who single-handedly was responsible for one of the great victories of that intense war. Where, does, where do some people get the idea that they can define Indian nationhood, belonging, sense of sacrifice to this country on the basis of religion? I find it sad. I was um, in this uh, memorial to the famous ship that was sunk in the 1971 war. Captain Mullah went down with the ship. And the name of every single soldier, sailor, beg your pardon, on that ship is enshrined on this marble slab. And I was reading every name, and there is not one religion in India unrepresented amongst those who gave their lives for our country. You will find Hindus, and you will find Christians, and you will find Sikhs, and you will find Muslims. And let me tell you, when you go to the Andaman Islands, to the notorious Cellular Jail, where the British imprisoned some of our nationalist heroes, and you look at the names on the wall there of those who were imprisoned sometimes for decades, those who died there, again, every religion of India is represented on those names. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't belong in this country. Every religion has a claim on the idea of India, on the essence of what India is all about. And I want to tell you that, uh, that, that the kind of competitive chauvinisms we're seeing in our politics is something I'm disgusted by and I deplore. And I will fight against it, I will raise my voice, however many cases are filed against me, and there have been four so far, there will be more. I believe to even talk of majority and minority is fundamentally un-Indian. We are all Indians. The suggestion that only a Hindu and that to only a certain kind of Hindu can be an authentic Indian is an affront to the very premises of Indian nationalism. And India, and I think she quoted that very appropriately, an India that denies itself to some of us will end up denying itself to all of us.